Our world is filled with mysteries for us to discover, with nature posing some of the most peculiar happenings. Whether it is a theory, prediction or hypothesis that has turned out to be the opposite to what we anticipated, or an evolutionary adaptation we cannot quite figure out, nature is wonderful but confusing to say the least. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three nature-themed discoveries you may have missed. The Ross Ice Shelf is freezing, not melting. In 2017, a rather strange discovery was made in regard to the Ross Ice Shelf, the largest shelf of ice in Antarctica. This ice shelf, which has some points which reach an astonishing 10,000 feet thick, is one of many shelves which contain, restrain and generally hold back the ice of West Antarctica. It is estimated that if the Ross Ice Shelf does one day collapse, then the global sea level has the capability of rising by 10 feet. In November of 2017, a team of scientists from New Zealand investigated the Great Ross Ice Shelf using a hot water drill to create a tunnel-like gap for a thermometer and camera to go underneath the surface level. This technique gives us a snapshot of the environment below surface level, cluing scientists in as to the history of this ginormous shelf, as well as giving us more information as to what exactly it is doing now, and the possible future happenings. With thoughts focused on global warming, this research team anticipated finding melting ice, though this is not the conclusion that the temperature and currents indicated. Contrary to expectations, the water beneath the Ross Ice Shelf seemed to be freezing and crystallizing, not melting. Christina Holb, a glaciologist from the University of Otago in New Zealand, was a co-leader on the project and summed up the strangeness of this discovery in four simple words when talking to National Geographic. It blew our minds. Plans to monitor the future of the Ross Ice Shelf have already been implemented, with the 2017 research team leaving instruments behind in order to measure currents and temperatures within the hole over the following years. The freezing of the ice shelf seems promising, suggesting it is plenty stable, at least for the time being. Scientists are also optimistic that the findings from this study will let us see if there have been any changes or melting that has happened in the past, as a direct result of climate shifts. Despite the overwhelmingly positive findings of this particular study, the climate crisis remains a prevalent and concerning threat to our planet, and one that is worsening at an accelerated and rapidly increasing pace. Global warming and the melting of ice caps is an issue we continue to face, with NASA confirming that we are losing ice in Antarctica at a quicker pace with each passing year. Whilst we are yet to determine exactly why we are seemingly so lucky with the peculiar freezing of the Ross Ice Shelf, it certainly is a positive sign that we are not facing the looming threat of the ice shelf collapsing anytime soon. Greenland Ice Lakes Drain at the Speed of Niagara Falls Greenland's ice sheet hosts lakes upon its surface, though these lakes seem to be making their own way through the ice sheet at a pace that is even quicker than Niagara Falls. The lakes on the surface of Greenland's ice sheet certainly are not just dripping though. The water appears to be draining through the ice sheet, which is a kilometre thick. The ice sheets of Greenland melt slightly during the heat of the summertime, leaving pools of water on top, forming the so-called lakes often spanning kilometers in width. These huge lakes then drain through the remaining ice sheet, though researchers were left scratching their heads as to how exactly this happens, and perhaps more specifically, as to how quickly it happens. Many have been concerned that global warming would result in the melted lake water increasing in volume, having a disastrous impact upon the ice sheet. The guess as to what could happen as a result of this increased water was that it could essentially lubricate the base of the ice sheet, making the water slide far too quickly into the ocean. Though a 2006 research study suggests that the impact of melted lakes is much less significant than first anticipated. Sarah Das, lead researcher from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, US, alongside the rest of her team, 
set up their stations besides a lake spanning three kilometers in the west of Greenland. 30 minutes after having detected rumbles within the ice with their seismometers, the lake began to drain, having completely disappeared within an hour and a half. Das stated, the most surprising thing was the speed. The rapid draining was credited to a fracture within the ice, caused by the weight of the water, with the crack believed to have reached through the entire depth of the ice sheet, a kilometre thick. Yet another strange scientific finding to come from this study is what happens to the melted lake once it reaches the bottom of the ice sheet. Within only a day, according to Das and her team, the water had drained away completely. A separate study, led by Ian Joffin from the University of Washington, used satellite imaging and GPS measurements to create the first ever map depicting the movement of Greenland's ice sheet and glaciers. Through this longitudinal research, his team found that each year, in the summertime, the ice sheets move towards the ocean at an increasing rate, getting between 50 and 100% faster each year, after summer sun hits. However, this finding was not consistent. Glaciers, which typically flow at a greater pace than the rest of the ice sheet, sped up by less than 15% once the sun was out, slower than the surrounding ice. It has been determined that this unexplained effect has the potential to save Greenland. If this strange phenomenon was not at play, then the lubrication of the melted lake water has the potential to reduce the icy Greenland landscape by 10 to 25% over the course of the 21st century. Joffin summarizes the complex scientific conclusions with this statement. The good news is that the increased melting does not seem like it's going to cause a runaway effect like some people had predicted. Whilst nature seems to have equipped the ice sheet with some built-in defense mechanisms against our global warming, the impact is certainly not negligible. Global warming does appear to be speeding up the glacier flow. Researchers appear to be relatively divided, with some claiming that, although it will have a notable impact, it will not be a catastrophe if the lubrication increases. One researcher, Conrad Steffen of the University of Colorado, holds this opinion and provides the dead glacier in Greenland as evidence, which was believed to be dead after being stagnant for decades before suddenly becoming active, speeding up by 80% throughout the summertime. He suggests these fluctuations are not necessarily immediate causes for concern. Despite the unexplained minimal impact so far, it remains crucial that the climate crisis does not continue to worsen. This strange scientific phenomenon is yet to be understood, but seems to be keeping potential environmental disasters at bay. Antarctic seals may use Earth's magnetic field to navigate while hunting. It has been well established that the adorable Weddell seals have biologically adapted to acquire the ability to dive hundreds of meters deep to hunt for their food, yet are able to accurately find breathing holes on the ice's surface whenever they need to. In 2014, the researchers, backed by the National Science Foundation, think they have found the answers as to how they have developed this bizarre ability. The Earth's magnetic field. According to researcher Randall Davis of the Department of Marine Biology at Texas A&M University, these seals seem to use the magnetic field of the Earth to create a sort of natural GPS. He said, this animal may be highly evolved with the ability to navigate using magnetic sense to find ice holes some distance apart and get back to them safely. Should this theory ring true, then this is the first evidence of an evolutionary trait like this being present in a marine mammal. Despite residing mostly underwater in aquatic environments, these seals still need frequent access to oxygen to breathe. With so much energy being used with each dive taken, it is simply inefficient to entirely resurface each and every time they need oxygen, and even worse, should the animals fail to accurately locate a hole in the ice, they will drown. This evolutionary tactic in Weddell seals has been a key part of research since the late 1990s, when this team first began investigating how they follow magnetic lines. The precision of their movements, as shown in the data collected, was astonishing, with seals being able to accurately return to dive holes repeatedly. Aside from the magnetic field, another factor possibly cluing in these seals could be sound 
with these fantastic seals receiving acoustic cues from other Weddell seals, letting them know where the breathing holes are. Both the teamwork and the magnetic field hypotheses can be clarified with further data collection, filling us in on precisely where the vocalization is coming from or seeing changes in behavior as the seals enter a new line of the magnetic field. These fantastically evolved marine mammals have still left us with some questions, but the research ahead promises fascinating results. But what do you make of these three discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.